everyone, this is Megan and thank you for joining me at AboveRubyStudio.com. Today I want to show you a really cute gift card holder for a girl's birthday and I am going to use the Simply Sweet font cartridge. I'm going to be using the Can Company Simply Sweet designer paper. How fitting. I just picked up this paper and I picked it up for two piece, two designs alone. This one because my daughter has pajamas in this very print from Carter's and I'm I swear to you she also has a dress shirt in this design and I thought how cute is that that these papers go along with some of the outfits that she has from Carter's this one as well so anyway I really liked it and I couldn't wait to use it and try some fun things with it so I want to use some of this paper and I'm also going to be using a few other things I will show you as we started I'm gonna select my paper I think the one that I want to use is this really cute polka dot fun. And I'm also going to be using some of my new Stampin' Up! cardstock. So we'll get started by we're going to be cutting out the base of our card using my Cricut machine here. I have the Stamping Solutions cartridge already loaded in. going to grab my blue teal color. All right, load that on there. And I have it in my lower right corner because I'm going to show you, I'm going to fit this to my page. Well, I'm not exactly going to fit it to my page. I'm going to fit two of them on this page and I'll show you how to do that by setting the paper size. Turn my multi cut off first. I'm going to load in my paper to go to the upper right hand corner here okay and then I'm just gonna hit set paper size now the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out my Cricut cutting guide that I actually keep in a binder and I'm going to turn to where I have my Stampin Up paper they're in alphabetical order Stampin' Up! cardstock. I'm going to be doing a basic cut that's going to be bigger than one inches and I can set it on the blade depth of five, my speed on five, and my pressure between four and five. Okay? So that's how I'm using that today. So everything five, everything can be on max. Now I want to well, I don't even need to put the quality button. I'm going to press my blackout feature first of all. I want this really cute scalloped frame. So I'm going to press this twice and then I'm going to hit fit to page. And then I'm going to hit cut. And it tells me they will cut at five and a quarter each. And if you look in this window here, it tells you that they will cut out at five and a quarter. Sorry if there was too much of a glare. So you need to remember that it is five and a quarter that it's going to cut out at. for the next part of my project. Okay, now I'm loading a piece of Melon Mambo cardstock onto my cutting mat. And I am going to turn off my Cricut machine because I'm gonna switch out from the Stamping Solutions cartridge to the Simply Sweet font cartridge. And we can turn it back on. I am very particular about turning off my Cricut since learning of some of the hot loading problems that have happened. From not turning it off between switching cartridges and it getting all stopped up. So we're going to do that. Now I'm going to select my tab button and I'm going to select the birthday. I'm actually going to select the present. So it's going to come up here. It's a shift and then the birthday. And I want that to be at one, I think one and a half inches is actually pretty good. So we'll load in my paper my mat and I'm going to, you know what, I'm actually going to switch back over to my solution, my stamping solutions cartridge because I think I'm going to do this a little differently than I was originally planning, which is fine. Crafting liberties here. All right, now I'm going to take my designer paper from Kay and Company, the Simply Sweet. And I'll stick this down on here. I'm going to load my paper. 
And I'm going to go back to my five and a quarter inches that my other tags cut out at. And I'm going to actually do the same thing, blackout and scallop frame. And because this is my restuckified mat, I'm going to have to work it, pulling it up a little bit. If you missed that video, make sure you check it out in the tips and tricks section of Above Ruby Studio. You're going to want to watch how I made this mat so sticky again. This is the mat I originally got with my Cricut machine. Can you believe it? Looks like brand new, doesn't it? It's not. It's the oldest one I own. All right, so now that I have a few of these elements all printed, all cut out for me. I'm forgetting one of my major elements that I need with the Cricut machine. I am such a duber. All right, hold on. Now we can turn this off. Okay, so now I'm going to, I have this really cute little tag here, but I'm gonna actually make it a little bit more customized for what I want it to be. So I'm going to grab, for next step. Now for this part, I'm gonna be adhering these two sides together. I'm gonna line them up. Actually, I could even cut this in half because I don't need the whole thing. And then I could use this for something else later. So I'm going to cut that right in half. I'm going to use my add tick glue runner. You can use your ATG or a Zig 2 way or Xyron. Okay, now I'm going to fold this over. really thick between having the Kane Company paper and the, like so. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up these two sides and I'm actually going to glue right along the edge and I'm gonna actually use my Zig 2 way for this because I don't want, I don't want too thick of an adhesive line. So this is gonna be my adhesive of choice for this part. So I'm using the ballpoint Zig 2 way I'm gonna go from the creases all the way down around, trying to keep it as close to the outer line as possible. And now I'm going to fold side, facing forward, facing out, I'm going to line up my two blue pieces. Okay, so now that's done. And now I, what I want to do is take my Swiss Dots cuddle bug folder, and I want it to be on both pieces of my bottom, so that's why it is going to be why I waited to put it together because I wanted it to be from this crease down and under. So I'm just gonna grab my cuddle bug. Grab a little block here. And again, we're gonna use my Rich Rosalberry stamp pad. And just gently stamp in this lower corner. Birthday wishes. It's a very busy, very fun, very colorful card, perfect for a seven-year-old girl. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, send me a message from the contact form at AboveRubyStudio.com and I hope you really enjoyed watching this colorful birthday note card. I will see you later. Bye!